Hello class and welcome. Today we are going to talk about defined terms. Now last time we talked about undefined terms, today we're going to actually define some things. But real quick, we are going to briefly review the undefined terms. There were three of them. First one was points. This We used dots to represent points. We named them with capital letters. Dots aren't points. Points actually can't be measured. They're too little. But we used dots to draw them. All right, we have points. Second one was lines. We have a line going through these two points. So these three points are all on the line. We call them collinear. Lines can be named with either two points, just two points, or this one lowercase letter right there. It is not named with three points. Do not call this line CXS. All right, only use two points. You can use a little symbol up above it for line, or you can write the word line and L. All right, for the lowercase one there. And the last one was plane. Remember, it extends in just in two directions. It is two-dimensional. Right. Uh, we can either call this plane R, this capital cursive R up here, or we can pick three letters, three points that are not in a line. So you can, again, you cannot call this plane SXC because those three are on a line. You have to use this H somewhere. We could have called it plane CHX, that would have been fine, just not CXS. Okay, so those are the undefined terms. Now we're going to get into defining some terms. So the first one we're going to talk about is a line segment. This is a set of points on a line that are between two endpoints. Notice it uses these undefined terms. It uses point and line to define a line segment. So what this is, so points on a line, so we have all these points on a line between two endpoints. Well, A and B are my endpoints, so I only want the stuff between them. So I just want this bit right here. This is a line segment. You could also just call it segment. That's fine, too. All right. Now, the way we name a line segment is very similar to how we name a line. A, B, we name it by two points on line. If it was just a line, it would just be two points on the line. Here we specifically have to name it by the endpoints. Now notice right here, okay, so we'll the endpoints, there they are. Notice right here there's no arrows on this, right? If this was a line, it would have arrows at the end saying it's a line. No arrows. No arrows on my segment either, right? Because it stops. So no arrows on my symbol because it stops. Okay, always name it by the endpoints, there's no arrows. So, for example, if I had another point in here, let's say point C. Wrong button, there we go, point C. Right, I now have segment AC would be right here. I have segment CB, which is right here. But if I'm still talking about this blue segment, that blue segment is still segment AB, right, or segment BA, either one. The order doesn't matter, but we need to name the endpoints. C is not an endpoint, so do not call this segment ACB because C is not an endpoint, and we name it by the endpoints. We only use two letters, not three. All right, so that's our first of our defined terms. Next one we're going to talk about is ray. Ray is the set of all points on a line that extend in one direction from an endpoint. So here I have this line, could you call it line AC, AB, whatever. And so we want to start at one point and go in one direction. So for example, if I want to start at A and go in the direction of B, right? And so that is how we name a ray. You could start with where you start and which way do you go. We start at A and we go in the direction of B. Notice our symbol here is this little ray. It only has one endpoint and one arrow. It says start here and go this way. All right. So, is this the same as ray BA? Well, ray BA would say start at B and go this way, go towards A. So that would look like this. The orange and the purple, those are not the same thing, are they? No, they're not. Because they have different starting points and they have different ending points. Well, not ending points, but they go in a different direction. They start at a different place, and they go in a different direction. They are not the same ray. Lines, order doesn't matter. Segments, order doesn't matter. Ray, order matters. All right. So 
Could I call the orange one, ray AB, could I call it by something else? Well, sure, I have to say it starts at A, and it goes in this direction. I've got another thing, I've got C there, right? That would still have me going in the direction of B, right? So I could call this ray AC, and the purple ray here, I could call it ray BC. Start at B and go in that direction, in the direction of C. Either way, you end up going this way forever, or that way forever, okay? Now. Another th thing we're going to talk about here is opposite rays. AB and B, ray BA are not opposite rays. What that is, opposite rays, these are two rays that share an end point and extend in opposite directions. AB and BA do not share an end point. The end point for ray AB is at A, the end point for ray BA is at B. So they have different end points. They do go in opposite directions, but they have different end points. One thing that helps, a ray will form a straight line with no overlap. These do form a straight line, but they have overlap. So an example of opposite rays have to start at the same place. So in this case, they would both start at C. So here we have a ray starting at C going one direction, a ray starting at C going the other direction. And so those are opposite rays. Ray CA, ray CB. Notice they both have that same starting point. Okay. Now, one thing I do want to point out, notice on all of these symbols, it doesn't matter which direction that ray is going, the symbol always faces to the right. Okay? Don't ever have the ray where the symbol faces the other direction. Okay? Also, just like lines and segments, only use two points. Do not use three points. Do not ever refer to something as ray BCA. That's no good. That's wrong. Okay, just BC or BA, that's fine, but not Ray BCA. Okay. All right, last definition we're going to talk about is the angle. An angle is a shape formed by two rays with a common endpoint. So here I have Ray BA and I have Ray BC. Notice they have the same endpoint right here at B. So this forms an angle. Uh, angles do have some parts. They have sides, which are the two rays that make up the angle, and that common endpoint there is called the vertex. Okay? Now, naming a ray, there are a couple of ways we can name it, uh, sorry, an angle. Name it three different ways. Way number one, name it with three points. Okay? You need a point on one side, the vertex, and then a point on the other side. So I could either call this angle, that's what this symbol right here is, angle ABC or I could call it angle CBA. All right. Very important that the vertex is in the middle of the angle. Okay, in the middle of the name, the vertex goes in the middle. Because what this is, this is the path that you follow to get all three in. You start at C, you go to B, and then you go to A. All right. That is the path that your pencil follows when you draw this. Okay. So you're not going to call this angle BAC, because that would start at B, go to A, and then down to C, and the angle doesn't do that. It doesn't start here, go to A, and then jump across, right? Doesn't do that, so don't call it that. All right? A is not the vertex, B is the vertex, so B has to go in the middle. All right, next thing you could call this, you could call this with just a number. Notice it has a number right here in the middle of the angle. I could call this angle 1. Easy peasy. Another thing we could do, if there is only one angle there, we could name it just by the vertex. So I could call this angle B because there's the only one angle B, right? I don't have lots of angle Bs, just one angle B. All right. But if I have something like this, I have all of this, could I refer to something as angle Z? Nope. Because if I say angle Z, which angle Z are you talking about, right? I have three different angles here with a vertex at Z. Now, some of you are looking at this and says, no, there's only two angles. No, there's actually three angles. We have angle WZX, angle XZY, and angle YZW, right, the whole big thing. So we have three different angles there that have a vertex of Z, so you can't just name it by the vertex. Okay, can't do that. Over here, I only have one angle at B, so I can just call it angle B. Here. I have three different angles at Z, so I've got to be more specific. 
All right. All right. And that is all of the definitions we're going to do today. Just these three, four, whatever it was. Three. So really simple. Angles always named with three three points. Every single okay. Three points or one point. Not with two points. You cannot call this angle AC. AC is not an angle. Okay. Three points for an angle. Two points for a ray. Always start with the part that doesn't have the arrow beside it. All right, the end point. Always start with that, and it always points to the right. Line segments, they stop at both ends. Only use two points, and no arrows on the top there. All right. And then we're back to our undefined terms. So, hope we found that useful, and I will see you in the next video.